everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today we're going to be making this little treat box. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, I'm making this for uh, a couple of the teachers at my son's school, and I'm using the Tie the Knot Cricut cartridge, and I'm using this little box down here on the bottom, and I went ahead and added it to my Cricut mat. Since I'm making a couple of them, uh, my first layer here is the box, the bottom of the box, and my second layer is the top, and I cut these out at seven inches. So let me just go ahead and zoom out on the camera and I'll show you how I put them together. Okay, so here's the top and the bottom of the box, and the bottom is cut out in a brown basil cardstock, and the top is cut out in green. And I went ahead and already did my score lines, and I just used my paper trimmer to do that with my um, Martha Stewart uh, scoreboard uh, blade there, or bone folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and when you cut these out, just if you've never used any of the boxes, like from Tags, Bags, Boxes and More and the other cartridges that have little bags and stuff on, it does give little marks. You can get rid of those marks by um, using your gypsy and hiding them. I kept them on for this one because they're really, really not as noticeable. So I just went ahead and did all my score lines. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all my folds. And this is going to be the bottom of the box. And I'm just going to use some score tape. And I'm going to go ahead and put score tape right on the little flaps. Okay, so I went ahead and added the score tape to my little flaps and peeled the um, backing off. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold in all of the little tabs and adhere them together. Okay, so that's the bottom of my box. And I'm going to add some little treats inside here. And then for the top of my box, um, I didn't do the square lines on this yet, but let me sh just do those quickly. And what I do is I just line it up on my score uh, or my paper trimmer, and then just use my bone folder here to create the score lines. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about these little flaps here to add the score lines to. So before I do any of the folding, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Sakura White Gel Pen and just create some stitching lines just right around the, uh, the box. Okay, so I did my stitching lines and I also added the score tape to the little tabs. I'm just going to go ahead and peel the uh, backing off the tape. And then I'll do my, I should have, probably should have done that before I peeled the backing off, but I'll score on my score lines. And then I'll go ahead and just use these little tabs here to hold my box together. Using the um, brown and green cardstock makes it look like a Christmas tree when it's all together. So it's perfect for the holidays. Okay, so there we go. That's the top of our box. Just like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is use some baker's twine. This is the Martha Stewart um, baker's twine that I got at Michael's. So in order to keep the twine from sliding all over the place, I just stick it through the little scallop holes. And then I wrap it around and I continue to use the little holes to keep it in place because otherwise it's going to slide all over the place.
all the way around. I'm just going to go ahead and tie a bow on the top. to make it a knot the first time and then I'll tie my bow. So going through the scallops keeps it from the lid from falling off. So we'll just trim these little tails here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to add a little tag, and this is from the um, Merry Christmas to my teacher. It's from the Cutting Cafe, and I'm just going to use this teacher, um, Merry Christmas to my teacher word circle, and I'm just using a 1 and 3 8 circle punch, and I'm going to punch that out, and then I'm going to take my scallop circle punch on this piece of red card stock. And this is a Stampin' Up! by Scallop Punch. So that'll go right on here. I'm just going to take a dimensional sticker here and pop up my little sentiment, my word circle. And then I'm also going to just go ahead and do some little doodles going around my scallop. Okay, and then the last thing I need to do is just go ahead and attach that. I'm just going to use a piece of score tape because that is what I have handy. And then I will go ahead and just attach this to my box. So there we go. That's just a cute little treat box that I'm making for my son and some of the teachers at my son's school. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye.